Top Android app hacks you can't do without. All right, we're going to get right into these app hacks today. Now, this first one you're going to like, especially if you have a newer huge phone and struggle to reach every area of the screen when using one hand. It's called Get a Cursor. Instead of struggling to reach the top part of your screen or a far left or right side, you can download this handy cursor so that you can reach every part of your screen. Once you click Start and swipe left or right, you'll get a nice little cursor so you can click anywhere on the screen without having to struggle, which comes in especially handy when you just can't spare your other hand for whatever reason. Hey, none of my business what you need your other hand for. Okay, moving on. Another cool app called Micro Gesture is just for that, a gesture. Instead of having to tap your phone a hundred times for simple actions, you can tilt forward to get your notifications or can tilt to the left to back a page or two. Why wear out those thumbs if you don't need to, am I right? You can even set it up to open an app or apps of your choice with the flick of your wrist. That's what I'm talking about. Tapping the screen is for amateurs. Uh, speaking of which, I've got another cool app that is similar to Micro Gesture and is called Nifty Gestures. Now, I like this one as well because, let's be honest, how you carry your phone will tilt it. And you don't want random apps opening when you're not paying attention. This app allows you to use simple screen swipes to be able to open the apps you want. You can set up to open your camera, settings, or really whatever you want simply by choosing from the menu what each action will do. This will allow you more control over your phone and not have to go back just because you accidentally tilted your phone too far to one side. But hey, the choice is yours. All right, next up, and this one is pretty awesome, is Black Screen. Music, meditation, podcasts for hours and without YouTube Premium. Simply download, open up the app, and turn the lock on, which, by the way, you can move anywhere on the screen for when you need it. Then open YouTube, put on whatever you'd like, and hit that lock button. Now, hours of meditation, music, or your favorite podcast for free. Uh, you're welcome. Now, got a crazy ex, boss, or crazy ex best friend? Oh, really? Just me? Well, anyway, I'm sure you'll use this too, even if it's just to show off something you found online. This one is called Screen Master. Now, instead of taking a bunch of screenshots and having to try to piece them all together, same as the last app, it has to be activated and has a floating button, but then once you've opened it, you can go to any app you'd like. Click the screenshot icon. You can hit the button, it'll scroll and take another screenshot, and when you're done, hit Stitch, and it will piece everything together for you. No need to piece them together, and they're all in one place. Now, before I forget, I don't know if you've heard, but people who subscribe to our channel have a higher IQ than people who don't. I'm assuming you have a high IQ because you're about to hit that subscribe button and make us proud of yet another subscriber. Okay, now I don't know about you, but I was a little on the jealous side when I heard iPhone users had AirDrop until I found out about SnapDrop. That's right, there is an app for iOS users so they can share content with other iOS users or even with iPhone users. The app allows you to choose a device to share with, which is given its own unique name. No mixing up devices, yikes! Choose a file to share and done! Need to transfer back? Do the exact same thing. Looks like your match, Apple. Need an email in a hurry? Check out Burner Email, where you can create a temporary email for whatever you may need it for. Want to get that free code for a game or discount, but don't want to get hit with a bunch of spam emails? No problem. This app creates one for you, and it's only good for two weeks, so no need to give out your personal email when just perusing for deals. Now, if you're anything like my dear mother, you have a boatload of subscriptions to the point of barely being able to keep up with them. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to keep track of them as well as what you're spending? Subscriptions does just that. You can add all your subscription accounts as well as when they're due, who it's for, how often you pay for it, and even what your total subscriptions amount to. It's a great way to keep track, budget, and even get rid of subscriptions when you realize how little you use them. <laughs> Wish I could get my mom to use this. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. We were just informed that there are people still watching who have not subscribed yet. Oh, never mind. They just subscribed. We can move on. 
Okay, now that that's done with, thanks buddy, we knew you'd hop onto the tech goat bandwagon. Here's one we think you'll like. It's called Wi-Fi AR. Stop walking around like a crazy person trying to find just the right spot for the perfect Wi-Fi connection. This app allows you to see anywhere in the room you're in and shows you the best spot for Wi-Fi as well as what Wi-Fi is available. I mean, really, walking around with your phone in the air should be a thing of the past. Wi-Fi AR is the future, and it's here. Now, be a genius and check out our next video, 10 Coolest Gadgets Spring Edition.